Hey, what's going on guys? Cedric here and you're watching my channel Passport Said. So today our vehicle started making its voyage from Michigan over to Hawaii. So I wanted to take this moment to go over the shipping process with you guys. So we started looking into this process a little while back. We contacted a handful of companies to try to figure out how much and how long it would take to get our vehicle from Michigan to the island of Oahu. Out of all the companies that we contacted, there was one that stood out in particular. The name of that company is Mobility Transport. First and foremost, they were really competitive when it came to pricing. Number two, their time frame from getting our vehicle from Michigan to Oahu was really reasonable. And number three, they were just really responsive and helpful. So we didn't want to pull the trigger too soon on shipping our vehicle. We wanted to try to coordinate it where our vehicle would get to the island roughly around the same time that we did. So there's a couple of reasons for that. If our vehicle arrived to the island a little too early, it would have to sit at the port and we would get charged for every day that it sits at the port. Now, if we got there and our vehicle wasn't there yet, that means that we would be without a vehicle on the island until it arrived. So just recently, we found ourselves a place to live and we booked our tickets. So we went ahead and made the arrangements with mobility transport. So a little earlier today, we get a call from the truck driver telling us that he's 30 minutes out. So we met the gentleman at the main road because it was gonna be a little challenging for him to maneuver his truck around our subdivision. So we met him up on the main road. The driver was cool, really professional. He did make a couple of rounds around our vehicle with his phone taking pictures and videos to document the condition of the vehicle before he loaded it up on the truck. Now this was our first time seeing our car being loaded up onto a truck so it was a little nerve wracking. But again, the guy was super professional and did a fantastic job. Now we paid for the trucking services directly to the driver on the spot. So he got the car loaded up and off he went with the vehicle. Now on top of the trucking service fee, there is an additional fee that was paid to mobility transport and that fee included the shipping of the vehicle taxes, insurance, and port fees. So all in all, we paid approximately $3,000 to get our car from Michigan over to Oahu, and the time frame for getting it there is approximately two weeks. Now from our research, after speaking to all these different companies, the vehicles shipped from California over to the island of Oahu. So you had a couple of options when it came to getting your car over to California. Number one, you can drive the vehicle there yourself, directly to the port, and from there, they would put it on a ship and ship it off to Oahu. Now we didn't have the time to do that, so that's why we coordinated for a truck to pick it up here at our home and drive it over to California. Now if we drove the car to California ourselves and simply shipped it from California over to Oahu, our cost for shipping the vehicle could very well have been cut in half. So one thing I wanted to point out, one of their guidelines for shipping the vehicle is there cannot be a crack in the windshield. And the reason for that is a lot of times these cracks that start off this big end up spreading and becoming this big and they don't want to be held accountable for that. So I told this story in my last video, but I was on the freeway approximately three weeks ago and all of a sudden, bam, a pebble hits the windshield and I get this little crack in the windshield. The next day I get in the vehicle and the crack that was this big is now this big. So we had to make an appointment with the dealership to get the windshield replaced before we could ship it over. So lucky for us, the dealership had a spot open to get our windshield fixed just two days before the car was scheduled to be picked up. So yeah, folks, uh, so far so good. Our vehicle is on its way to the island. We got a couple of weeks left here. The holidays are coming up. We're gonna spend time with family and friends and continue to put our things in boxes and uh, ship off to the island ourselves soon enough. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, this is Cedric and I'm out.